up. I don't want to do any more. What's up everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is David and today I've got a brand new toy and I'm so excited. Um, as I, it's probably clear by now what the, what the toy is. Like uh, I don't think it's worth me kind of being uh, shy about telling you and I hope that you might watch more of the video. Um, but I've got a brand new quad bike and it arrived two days ago, but I've not had a chance to actually have a play on it yet. Um, so I'm going to take one of my dogs up today. Um, I'm gonna see if I can get him to chase me. Um, and I'm, I'm so excited, honestly. I, I'm literally like a pig in shit. Um, I, <laughs> I am so excited. Um, but yeah, so that's up at the farm. But before we do that, as is often the case, sorry to be a little bit too similar, um, I'm going to take this boy out for a little run. Originally, I was going to do a, a gym session this morning, but um, I don't know whether you guys remember if you'll have seen it or not. I cut my hand open at the weekend. It was a... Uh, a slightly frustrating uh, occurrence and so yeah so I can't really grip anything right now so we're gonna go for a run this morning we're gonna blow some cobwebs out get some exercise in and then we're gonna get over to the farm I'm so excited I really can't wait I can't wait I really can't are you ready should we go for a run yeah come on then let's go come on so one of the reasons I like to bring him to the woods for a run is not necessarily for the sake of like improving specific run performance, just because the undulation of the land and this, that and the other makes it a little bit tougher. Um, but the main reason is actually the atmosphere in here, especially on days like today where it's a bit wet, there's no one else around. Um, it's super calming, it's super chill. We have a great time. He races around like mad and um, and it's, it's just a really nice place to be able to kind of just relax a little bit and switch off mentally. So um, that's the main reason we keep coming back to the woods because it's, it's bloody awesome in here. Are you ready to go for a wonderful run, young man? Eh? I bet you are, aren't you? Cool, well, we're gonna get started. We're gonna put some tunes on and we're gonna get going. Okay, so just got back from the run, had a lot of fun out in the woods with Cal. Wasn't really seeking out any specific training effect, just was out to have a bit of a good time. Um, Cal chased a deer, classic Cal. Uh, that wasn't stressful at all. The deer's gone though, so he's not, he's got oh, that, right? right. <laughs> oh, he's buggered off. Yeah, he's gone. Classic Cal. Um, and then towards the end, he came running back with a bird hanging out of his mouth. Um, yeah, so I won't be feeding him dinner tonight. But anyway, 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 all that's said and done. Um, I need to have something to eat, grab a shower and head over to the farm because I can't wait, wait to uh, get onto this quad bike. And I'm going to take one of the other dogs and see if I can blast him a little bit. So super, super excited. Time for some food. Okay, so we came up to the farm. I've brought my youngest boy, Dax, um, to see if we can have a bit of fun. I am honestly <laughs> unbelievably excited. I have wanted a quad bike, honestly, since I was a child um, and, and enough space to kind of like play around on one safely. Um, and one, another reason why I've got one is actually because Dax as a breed or as a dog, his kind of primary thing that he enjoys the most is actually chasing things. Um, and obviously there are only so many deer he can chase before I have a heart attack chasing him down the field. 
and uh, equally it's a behavior that I'm trying to train out of him as well so but I do want to provide him with some degree of fulfillment um, so that he can chase something and have a lot of fun and he does enjoy chasing me on a mountain bike so I'm kind of hoping that this will give him something some more of a reason to run a little bit faster because honestly he runs faster than I can ride on a mountain bike that's not even a joke um, so the aim this afternoon is to have a wonderful time we're gonna start off real nice and slow and safe so that's the plan hopefully um, it'll be a lot of fun so yeah let's check it out but before then um, let's give you the opportunity to see this mighty beast all of its glory Okay, bugger off, I want to have a play now. Are you ready? <laughs> Are you itchy? Are you having a scratch? Hey, honestly, that went a million miles better than I expected it would. Um, I kind of, I was, I was really hoping he would chase me, but I did not expect him to go all guns blazing straight away. So I'm really, really chuffed with that. He's, um, he's such a wonderful dog, and and honestly, when you see him absolutely gallop that way, it, it really is absolutely stunning. So it's really nice to see that he's actually. Um, enjoying it as much as I'd hoped. I do have to be careful. I don't want to overdo it with him because it is, um, this isn't something he's used to. So I don't want to do like 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 sprints because um, I don't want him to get injured. Um, I don't want him to basically like dig himself a big hole and him feel rotten for a while. So I'm, I'm going to have to like back off a bit and then every now and then just put a little bit of power down and see if he'll still chase me. But uh, honestly, I'm I'm over the world. Like that was such a wonderful experience. So and it was so nice to see him really absolutely gun for it. So uh, I'm super chuffed. Uh, but we're going to keep moving because I need him to keep moving so that he doesn't get cold. <laughs> So as you can see, clearly, <laughs> I think he's had a good time and he likes the quad bike. He also looks pretty tired. Um, so we did a quick loop of this top portion of this field that's recently just been cultivated. Um, and we did it quite slowly just to kind of cover a bit of ground together. Um, but essentially because it's recently upturned soil, um, it's kind of like running on sand. So even though I was going super slow, this poor little bugger <laughs> was having a real kind of tough time and, it, and he's one of those dogs where he either is dead stop or dead fast there's no like in between for him um, but then when we got done he just he just came over and decided to climb on the back of the quad bike like stop I don't want to do anymore that's fine we're gonna go home hey eh? should we get you some water I know. I know. I know. I know. You did so well today. Oh, thank you. That went amazing. I was so happy with that. I kind of figured that we'd probably do a little bit more, but then again, I think that I probably over, over egged it a bit. And as soon as I got on it and rode just a tiny bit with him, um, I was like, this isn't going to be a long thing because it'd be ridiculous. It'd be like going, hey, you person that's never ran a marathon before, come and run a fucking marathon. Um, it'd be ridiculous. Um, so, I mean, I had a lot of fun. And I think he had a lot of fun at the outset, but it was quite clear at the end. He was like, stop, I want to go home. Um, so, yeah, it was. A, I had a really good time. I'm going to bring two dogs next time and see how they get on because I, I only wanted to bring one just so that he could have a chance to 
really dig in and he didn't have to feel stressed about there being another dog there in case for one reason or another it made them run in directions that I really didn't want them running in, i.e. in front of the quad bike. Before I leave though, what I do want to do is I want to go and have a quick blast on it without him um, and just kind of like have a little bit of fun where I'm not kind of worried about um, kind of either getting him injured or being too close to him. I'm going to go and have a, a quick blast on my own. Thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, please do hit that like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell, all those usual bits and pieces as it does really, really help the channel. Um, I've been David, you've been chuffing wonderful, um, and I'll see you all very, very soon. Peace.